Okay, um, I thought I'd have a look at uh, creating my own um, poker chips. Um, try it a different way, not using the extrude uh, tool. And this is uh, the final result. Um, I bring this along here. I've got these two. Um, they're all that's a group. I'm just going to ungroup this for a minute. Ungroup. Just I'm going to tell you how I made it. Um, people on here have got enough uh, savvy to know that. You have to excuse me. Someone's using a drill or something across the road. Um, I'm just going to pull this apart. transparency then reduce down in size uh, and then bend it between them um, to give that shape um, and they actually create the highlight so we've got that and let me just go control G for that control group for that then you've got this um, section here which is virtually the, exactly the same as that I just but then it's got these extra center pieces, um, text on a curve which I've converted to variable shapes, um, various other bits and bobs. Um, so you can see, just see the construction of it. So I'm going to go Control G and send that to the top. Um, now I've got nine colors, and um, this color here um, is called side red, uh, and this color here. It's called bar, bar side. So um, this colour here is um, the same as that colour. It's a shade of that colour, and it's called top red. And that pale blue is called top blue. Uh, I've got this uh, clip white, um, chip white text, and the chip text itself. Um, so what I can now do is I'll edit, copy those groups, open a new layer, edit, paste, and I've got pasted two groups. Um, first thing I do is select, drag select both of them. Um, they are level vertically, uh, sorry horizontally. Uh, I can reduce them down in size like that. I'll just move them up a bit. Select this one. Control K, Control K to clone it. Move it down some. To control B to send it to the back. That's far too far. I'm going to smooth that up to about there. Then I'm just going to use the good old blend tool. Um, blend that to that. Um, I want to make it 100 bends. It doesn't have to be 100 bends, but it gets rid of that jaggy. I don't know why this comes up, is it? So it's about time to remove that. Um, it's there, it didn't take any time at all. Um, so I've got that's one group, and so I've got these two groups. So I can now go arrange uh, alignment. Click on the top left hand and apply. And therefore, I've got now got that. So I can go Control G. Um, I can. Um, Excuse the dog out there, he's going daft. Um, just jump that a bit. Obviously, you have to go up a bit like this to match it. Might be too too deep this one, but um, you can see you've got that. Uh, you can still change the value of the. Is I can bring in this side red, um, just 
squeeze this down a bit. Um, move that to green. That changes that to green. Um, green and me. The bar, these bars here, the bar side. Um, and let's make that an orange colour. Up a bit. I'm bringing the ship text. I'm give that more of a golden colour. Excuse me, this slowly has run slow, not because it's Zara, it's the um, screen recorder I'm using. And I can go edit, copy that group, return to my original, and I'll just go back to over here, shut this down, control V, don't match the colours. I know you can do it separately for some other reason now, but uh, it was a bit too deep that one, but control back. Once you've got the, the depth correct, you can, you can sort that out yourself. Um, 